Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to another episode of Carvaco Hacks. Carvaco Hacks is a short video series that teaches you tips and tricks on the Carvco software. In today's episode, I'm going to show you another way to make a 3D relief from a photo using basic Carvco Maker. If you follow the channel, you'll know that we've done videos on how to use a photo to create a relief model using a sign base hack. I also wanted to show you a couple of other methods. The other way to do this is to go to File, New, and Create Model from Image. And if you select the image that you want to use, it will import the image and create a relief model. Now the problem with this relief model that when it imports it is that the pixels around the edges of the model are pretty messy. And so it makes all the details come out pretty messy with all that pixelation that goes around the corner. We're going to close that and we're just going to start a new model. And I'm going to import that same bitmap or picture. Once we have our bitmap or picture imported, we're going to go to the 2D view. And I'm going to use the bitmap to vector tool to reduce the colors in this photograph. We're going to reduce it down to... Let's go with four colors because we can still see all the details in the relief. And then I'm just going to go to this bitmap tab and the bitmap layer that we imported our bitmap on. All we have to do is go down to this little star that says create relief layer and it's going to open up our scale relief tool. If we go back to our 3D view, and I'm just going to change this height, it says 500 right now. And let's press our display material so we can see our relief material. Now I can change the height of my relief or scale my image. Because we reduced the colors, the image corners or edges are now much cleaner, producing a layered relief. And now all I need to do is go to my tool paths and my 3D relief tool path and cut this out. If I select a skinny Jenny for my finishing bit and let's pick the original Jenny compression bit for our roughing options. We're going to calculate this tool path. Once we simulate it out, we have our 3D relief. Guys, if these short video tips help, consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a like and share this with someone. Thanks guys. Make it happen and I'll see you on the next hack.